Unsolved. Episode 200, John Bonet Case, Separate Lawyers. I think it is significant that John and Patsy Ramsey had separate lawyers, as I've stated before. And so this video talks about all the lawyers involved in this case, or at least most of them, dealing with the death of John Bonet. First, we have the Boulder District Attorney, Alex Hunter. And so he was the man in charge of prosecuting the murderer of John Benet Ramsey. And so he assigned two assistant DA members to the case. And the first was Lawrence Tripp DeMuth, and the second was Pete. Hofstrom. So that was the prosecution. So they would handle the case in court and prove who killed John Bonet and prosecute that person. Now, John Ramsey was in charge of Access Graphics, and they had a business attorney, Mike Bynum. And John Ramsey and Mike had a good relationship and they were sort of friends. And when John Bonet was found dead, somehow Mike Bynum found out about it and he went and visited John and Patsy at John Fernie's house. And the police showed up, the detectives. And so he advised John to not talk to the police right away and he found this law firm in Denver with Hal Haddon and Lee Foreman and Morgan Brian Morgan and now these photos are all recent so they're all old men now and you can see two of them have retired Now, the part that's telling to me is Patsy ended up with the lawyer Patrick Burke, who's not a member of this large law firm, and he represented her. But that raises questions to me, like why they needed separate attorneys. It's like John Ramsey was thinking, Patsy must be guilty and I'm gonna need a lawyer to protect myself that I don't um, get in trouble in this case. So that's why I have this law firm representing me. Or John knew he was guilty and he needed a separate lawyer from Patsy to protect himself from Patsy. Because if this would have went, someone would have been charged right away with the murder of John Bonet, either John or Patsy, then the police and the district attorney's office would have been playing themselves against each other. And that's the purpose of the separate lawyers. Now, another thing that John Ramsey's lawyers did, the law firm, They brought in John Douglas and other investigators to look into the possibility of an intruder and see if they could find the killer that way. But I find this odd that this took place so quickly. I kind of understand, you know, a month or two after um, no leads or nothing nothing happening on the case getting uh, investigators but John Douglas was hired on in January of 1997 like two or three weeks after John Bonet died 
And so I find that odd. Now, another situation in this case was the friendship between the assistant district attorney, Pete Hallstrom, and his friendship with Byron Morgan, John's attorney. They were good friends and ate breakfast together once a week or something like that. And he didn't want to stop his friendship with Pete didn't want to stop his friendship with Brian because of this case. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and I'd like to hear your comments. Do you think John knew he was guilty, and that's why they had separate lawyers? Or John felt that Patsy did it, and that's why they had separate lawyers? So comment. Tomorrow night, we'll look at the Zodiac Killer case. So I'll see you next time.